Hello everybody, welcome to this final video on the Inferno CTF. Today we're going to be solving the uh, crypto challenge really secure algorithm again. Uh, it was worth 122 points at the end and the description goes as follows. I love algorithms, secure ones to be precise. So we get started off with one artifact, RSA underscore shell, which is a text file which contains an E, an N and our uh, flag in hexadecimals. So uh, the name of the file says RSA. So uh, this is probably going to be RSA. We get an E and an N given. Now, if you know anything about RSA, then you know that you can create a public key from that. Um, and there's this amazing tool, RSA CTF tool, that I used for this. Uh, it can do a lot of stuff, but very simply, it can also just print out a um, public key. So we're going to do a um, create pub with our N and our E. So let's copy this. Go to our shell. No, or, and let's paste in the, the N. The E is still the same. This is a very common number to have as an E value. But the N is obviously going to change. So let's paste that in and run this. And if you let it run, you get a public key. So now what I did is I did this. I um, put the uh, public key into a file, pub.key. And now we have to uh, decrypt this using that public, public key. And luckily, uh, again, RSA CTF tool has a, has a thing for that. So we can do if we supply dash public key, the public key file, and then uh, the uncipher, which doesn't have to be a file, it can just be dash uncipher. So let's just grab that. There we go. Okay, so we have the key dot, oh, I named it pub.key. Meant to do key dot pub, but that's fine. So now we're going to supply it. Um, one of these values, let's start with the first one. And let's see what it gets us. And there we go, it gets us inf, which is probably going to be just the beginning of inferno ctf, which is the format of all of these keys. So if we do the second part, we're going to get erno C. As we can see, that's what we got. So then I, um, you could easily, easily do it manually, go over all of these. But I wrote a little uh, Python script that's pretty much going to do a um, run the same command that we have been running so far, which is going to loop over this array, get all of them, and then remove the only grab the interesting parts for us. Um, then for the last one, something interesting happened. Not really interesting, but something that my script was not built for because it's very basic. As you can see, once this runs, um, the last characters are not at the end. So I pretty much just had to well, replace them uh, with the correct values and then print it out. So if we run solve.py, so let's do python3 solve.py. It's going to take a little while because it has to run all of these commands. But once it's finished, it's going to print us the flag nicely. I will put links to a um, GitHub where the, you can get the script from if you want to run it for yourself. Uh, so there we go. Inferno CDF RSA keys too small. So that was this challenge. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back in the, with the next one.